So, I have one hour. Listen, are you ready? Yes. Before I start, I want us together, let's celebrate my father in the Lord, the prophet of God, your grandfather, Major Prophet Vitor Kusibuati. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Amen. So, we have four days starting today to Wednesday evening. Listen, you don't want to mix even one day or one service. I'll be preaching for Rafa too, immediately after this service. Amen. I'm ready. Don't mind. Me, when I'm tired, when I, when I take the microphone, the spirit of tiredness disappears. <laughs> yeah. Then I work for the one who have called me. So it's going to be amazing. I'm telling you, you need to get ready. It's going to be spiritually chaos in this place. I promise you, it's going to be mind-blowing, mind-boggling. You don't want to exempt yourself. You don't want to leave your loved one outside this conference. God has something to do in this conference. That you and somebody that you love and your family member, your co-worker, do not want to miss this. I, you know me, I don't black. I prove it. When you read the Bible, the Bible talks about the kingdom of God is not of ways, but is of power. Hallelujah. I've, I've always, I always say, I've seen God. I have not heard God from somebody. I've heard God and I've seen God. First, I was watching it and I was reading it in the Bible. He raised the dead. He opened the eyes of the blind. He made the dumb speak and the deaf hear. He made the lame walk. It takes all sorts of infirmities and disease away until I started experiencing it myself. So I don't brag about this God. I don't brag. Last two weeks Sunday, do you know what happened in, in our church? Bishop, I was preaching like this. Preaching, preaching, preaching. And I saw the ushers rushing towards a certain direction. So I was like, what is going on? So I asked, what is this? He said, the woman is dying. A woman died in our service. Yes, whilst I was preaching, the woman, in fact, when they told me she was not dead yet, she was in the process of dying. So I rushed there together with my protocol and um, it was like, oh. When we started praying, when you lift up the hand, she was in the chair and was like this. So cold. Minister Enoch said, Papa, no, she's cold, she's gone. And I said, Shut up. We prayed for 10 minutes. The woman was gone. I said, give me water. <laughs> she came back. That is the God that you and I said. So if, if. <laughs> no, no. You don't get it right. Who is Simbini? Zimbini. Who is that? Who is that? Rafa. It, she, it's a lady. It's a lady. Okay. I need her. She will be. It's, it's her time. Wow. 
Oh my God. Is he into something like cream and those kind of like natural cream and those kind of like like beauty? Those kind of that comes with beauty and um, how should I put it? Am I am I in line? I'm talking about that lady. She's in that into that. Okay, don't worry. You don't know, but I know. I know. <laughs> Rafa will know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Then let's leave it for Rafa. Let's leave for Rafa. I think. Let's let's hold on now. So, yeah, Amen. So this is the God that we are going to experience this week. The God of signs and wonders. The God of miracles and creative miracles. The God of possibilities. The God who make it the way where there seems to be no way. Mm. The God who says and it cometh to pass. The God who says, Let light come out of darkness. And light came out of the darkness. How can a light come out of a darkness? Because darkness do not produce light. But when this God says light come out of the darkness, lo and behold, the light came out of the darkness. Ladies and gentlemen, no matter your problem, God is bringing solution out of it. Ah. Are you here with me? No matter the sickness, there is a healing in that sickness. No matter the poverty, there is a prosperity in that poverty. Oh, that is the God of CK and I. And this week, He has sent me to you to bring the impossibilities into possibilities in your life things are changing transformation is happening oh shout yes my god my god oh my kaba shana grado sha nimonon je hagra pecos ko palas ko petes nimonon shala grado sha Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want to speak just for, let's say, 10, 15 minutes. You know your father. He, also, he always says that, my brother, when you come to, to seek a life, we don't need word. We need prophecy. He loves you, people. He said, I, I have done all the preaching for you. <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> I've done all the preaching for you. You know your brother. I can preach. I, I'm not saying you can preach, but you, you do the prophecy and leave the preaching for me. <laughs> I mean, you see, even if I don't want to prophesy, this man's anointing will push me for me to prophesy. <laughs> that is the anointing of perseverance. <laughs> so, I'm just going to do just 15 minutes in the word. Then we are going to enter into... <laughs> uh, who is... Um, is it... Clolene? Where is that? Clolene. C L O C L O E O yeah 
N Y. That's you. Pack or she say Jesus. Talk to me. Oh, say Jesus. Jesus. Talk to me. Okay. Do you have a name like Crowlet? Is that you? Crotty. Is it Crot? Crotty. It's you. C L E O T. It's you. Okay. Are you ready for me? You sure? Sir, please don't start. Go. I'm coming to you. Don't worry. Today is your day. The Lord said, you have been a good daughter of this house. So he will never allow any darkness to come to your house. Every darkness that the enemy has projected to your direction, it is averted. I'm coming to you. God is going to change it and make it a glorious experience for you. If indeed your name is crawling, Crotty, I don't know you. I've never met you before. Do you know me? You know me? You were, you were here last year. My sister, I don't know you. <laughs> Have you spoke before? We chat, TikTok, Instagram, WhatsApp. God knows you. He knows the purest heart that is in you. He said your heart is pure. That's what the spirit of the Lord is telling me. He said, my daughter, tell her, tell her, my daughter, that I will never allow the devil to put her to shame. Tell her that instead of the shame that the enemy has projected, I'm going to replace it with shining. You are going to shine. I'm coming to you. I'm not done with you. I'm just starting. Clap on to Jesus, somebody. So, you can sit down for now. But when I start the ministration, please be quick. Especially that song, I love you, Lord. Oh my God. This man. <laughs> This, do you know that I was not seeing anything when he started the song I started seeing and the Lord took me through memory lane do you know that it was a year by now right I wouldn't have been with you today had they not been the Lord I got a food poison. Yeah. My whole blood, the red blood turned into coffee. Is it coffee yesterday? It's coffee. Okay. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They know that. <laughs> so, and my blood was thick to the extent that when the daughter wanted to draw my blood, it took them one hour plus. No pause. They, they put all the machines that check the, the DP at the hospital. Every machine at the hospital, they brought it. My DP was not responding. You know what it was saying? Error, error, error. They will go and put it on another person. 
beside me, it works. Yeah. My, um, I just forgot. That one, the one that is up and the one that is down. Um, that reading. Blood pressure. Yeah. You don't know that. <laughs> the down one, no, let me start with the, the up one, who was 66. Yeah. That's not the shocking. The down one, she can, the down one was 33. So they said it was dead on arrival. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? But did you know that I was not put on the stretcher to the hospital? Yeah, I walked. In the car, when we got down from the car, I was walking. So when the nurses checked and found out the 66 and the 33, they ran away. <laughs> yeah, they ran away. At first, we were not knowing what, what was happening until the doctor came and explained it to us. The reason why these doc nurses will run away is because you, you, you are not supposed to be walking. <laughs> you see, so when my, my, my brother, Bishop, lifted up the song, I love you, Lord. On my life, you have been faithful. I remember it was a year today. So this would have been my one year death anniversary. But I'm alive. Because he has been faithful. It is not by my faithfulness, but his faithfulness. Hallelujah. Some of us, we have experienced God. So there's nothing that you can say that will change our thinking faculty about God. Because we don't read God. We experience God. Those who read God say all sorts of nonsense about God. Christians are crazy. Christianity is a mirage. Jesus was just a story. Never existed. You think so? Me, I have experienced him. Yes, I have heard him. I have not heard of him. I have heard him. I hear him. As I'm speaking, I'm hearing him. I don't know you, but he knows you. He knows your name. He knows your name. Have you heard about that song? He knows your everything. Thought, right? He sees he hears and what he calls he hears you when you call this is the God that we are serving if I take you through the experiences since I came to encounter with this man you will never believe it now let me give you one example I think this one is a nurse. So, today I think you and I are doing the service. <laughs> I preach, you interpret. <laughs> Last year, I think even she is watching me right now because she loves my ministry. She, she is not in Ghana again. She is in the UK. She is a nurse there. Do you know what happened? Watch this. The husband did everything, took Dick's daughter of mine to the UK. I 
about six months after I was in a meeting and I saw my phone ringing that was this daughter I was in the meeting I couldn't pay she called six times she has never done that before now watch this I saw my wife also calling immediately after the six missed calls. When I got out from the meeting, I called my wife. She said, your daughter wants to talk to you. I don't know the problem, but in her voice, she's not feeling okay. I called her and she was on the phone crying, crying, crying. I said, daughter, Come down and talk. When she wants to talk, the words were not coming. Cry. I prayed. Then she started talking. She said, Papa, when I go to this country, about three weeks ago, I was not feeling well, so I went to the hospital. He checked me and said, I have HIV. Newly married. I'm sleeping with the husband. I pray the Lord said the husband is not from the husband. The husband is clean. You know the most shocking about this testimony? She's very vibrant in, in the faith. She said, I told them. Me, I don't have HIV. They said, you have. She said, I don't have. She said, Baba, I fought with them. They checked me three times. Positive. They said, go, come back. We want to put you on drugs. She said, no, I'm coming back to check again. One week after, she went back, she checked, and they said that the, what do you call it? No, you know, HIV, the virus, they are 1,500. Hmm? Paraloot. Paraloot. That means complete. Yeah. No turning back. Yes. I've, that was my first time hearing something like that about that disease. I've never heard of it. 1,500. So they told her that this thing where it has reached, it, you are not getting healed. You must be put on medication. Ah, Papa, trust your God. Give me time. Let me pray. I prayed. Then I think about three days afterwards, the Lord showed me something. That is from her hometown. They want to disgrace her. So, tell her to do this. And she's going to be free. I told her. I said, do it. Then one month time or two months time, whatever, go and check after that, she went and checked, and they said that she said the doctor stand to her in the where did you go? And she was like, Why? They said a task <laughs> come off, come down from the thousand five hundred to fifty. They were shocked. They said, no. Our medication cannot do that. The medication just sustains your health and your life. Does it. It does not take away the virus from your system. So tell us, what did you do? She said, I called my father in Ghana. And she, he prayed for me. They said, no, 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 no. Which prayer? So they said, go 
come back two weeks because we want to see that the 50. So when she told me, I said the 50 is gone. Two weeks after she, she went to the hospital, they changed. She has been shifted from the positive to negative. And you dare talk to me about God that he doesn't exist. You dare talk to me about Jesus that he did not came walk on this earth 33 years afterwards went on the cross died buried rose up three days after ascended into the heavens and seated at the right hand side of the father interceding for me you are you me and you it is you who is crazy because you know what? I've seen God. I've experienced Him. Give me Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1, verse 2, verse 3. There's this message, Bishop, that I want to deal with Rafa throughout this revival. I wanted to start this morning but because of the time I can't. So we will start in the evening. <laughs> it is called the mystery of the supernatural. Because this conference is the supernatural conference, right? So that is what we are going to do throughout the whole of um, tonight through to Wednesday night. I'm going to deal with you about that series so but this morning let's go the, uh, this is just a foundation now Isaiah chapter 60 the verse number 1 goes like this arise shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you I want us to look at these verses very carefully the verse number 2 says for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people, but the Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you. The last verse. I want you to look at this last verse carefully. The Gentile shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. The Gentiles there means unbelievers. Now let's start from the verse 1. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you this. I want to start by saying this. Please look at me. This verse is the Old Testament or an Old Testament verse. But if I tell you that this verse, no, let me put it this way. This verse is a prophetic verse. It's a prophecy that God gave through his prophet Isaiah in the Old Testament. You can say 2,000 plus years ago. But if I tell you that this verse, I think I would like that microphone better. Or is it the volume? <laughs> this three verses hasn't fulfilled yet. Thank you. I like this one. This is a West African voice. And this one is a South African voice. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now listen. This is what? A prophecy that is not fulfilled. It's yet to be fulfilled. As a matter of fact, it is not 
only by the inter- interpretation that I came to know, but it is by the revelation that God gave to me. This one is yet to happen. From this year going, the world is about to experience something. I want you to write it down because it's going to happen. From this year going, within the next two, three years, it's going to happen. The world is about to experience a darkness that the world has never experienced before. That is why our church, God gave us the team for this year. The year of logos and fools. Not fools, fools. Greek, F-O-C-E. The logos, we all know, is, is meaning word. The fools, the meaning is light. So, our team for the year at Ross Chapel is the year of the word and the light. God, the Lord said, what is coming? The world will need my light and my word. Or my word and my light. Out of the word come at light. Are you following? And the Lord took me to Isaiah, this scripture. He said, arise, shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. The verse 2 is telling your eye that <laughs> see or behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people. But the verse number one is saying, arise and shine for the light has come. This is very contradictory when you look at the both verses. Are you following? Now watch and listen closely. Arise! Shine! For the light has come. And the verse two is telling us that darkness is on the rising. But the verse number one is pinpointing to the child of God. That your light has come. But the verse 2 is saying that see, darkness is on the rising. And thick darkness the people. So in other words, what the Bible is trying to say is that what will be darkness for somebody or for the earth, you child of God, it will be a light. Are you following me? So the Bible did not quote the verse too first. That see, darkness covers the earth. No. The verse 1. The Bible says, arise and shine. For the light has come. In other words, child of God, get ready to shine. There's a certain darkness that is coming. But get ready to shine through that darkness. Follow me. Here, the Bible is trying to tell you an I that you can never stop the darkness from coming. Whether you like it or yes, it will come. But I have given you a prophetic advantage. Before it comes, arise. Before that darkness comes, do what? I can hear you. Do what? No, somebody say, arise. Say, arise. In other words, get ready <laughs> to shine. Even before the darkness comes, you need to get ready. So when the darkness comes, it will meet a certain light. That, you see, that is why nowadays many believers are draining off. Quitting church. Playing church, joking, because the 
devil knows what is at stake and what he has planned. That is on the way coming. And he knows the only thing that can stop it are two things. One, you and the light. Why is it that it is you and the light? Because he's, the, he's saying arise. So God will never lift you. You must arise. <laughs> Are you following? In other words, what the Bible is trying to say, work your way. Work out your salvation. Work out your relationship with God. Arise. Don't be timid. Don't stay idle. Don't stay idle. Don't be lazy in the spirit. Don't be lazy in the work field. Don't be lazy in your marriage. Don't be lazy in your business. Arise, child of God. If only you arise, the light of God shall shine over you. The point is, you just need to make a move. Don't stop churching. Are you following? Don't stop praying. Don't stop tithing. Don't stop fellowshipping among the saints. Don't stop giving. Don't stop loving God. Don't stop coming to church. You need to do it multiplicationally. At first, if you were praying 10 minutes, you must put the 10 minutes somewhere and start praying 30 30 minutes, one hour. If you give thousand rounds, you must no, you must arise your giving. Are you listening to me? This is the only way for you to overcome. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not preaching for the Bible's sake. I'm preaching about what the Lord has told me. He says, son, there is a darkness coming. But what will make my saints come out shining is for them to arise. If only they will arise, they will shine. For my light shall be risen upon them. Are you here, ladies and gentlemen? Somebody shout, arise. something is coming but God has removed the fear factor from what the enemy is bringing that is why he first gave this scripture arise shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon me in other words God has located you so if God has located me why must I arise? Do God needs my rising to do something? Yes. It is like watches. Somebody has bought a car, packaged the car very nice. Then the person has put your address on the parcel. Then it has been sent or shipped to your location. You then you hear a knock, pa, pa. you open. Then this um, post office guy, are you Mr. Enesquisi? Are you what's your name? Nana, I love you. I love you. He said, he, she said, let, let me make it simple for my Ghanaian apostle. Nana, good. Now look at this. Then, are you Nana? You respond yes. But the post office guy will ask you, will say to you, please, there is a delivery for you. This car 
the person says it's a surprise for you. You don't even know. Right? You'll be jumping. But before the guy can hand it to you, you must first sign. Are you following? That is how it is. You must first, immediately you sign, it means you have accepted. So the guy will say, Congratulations. Then, then after that, you, you keep on jamming even better. <laughs> are you listening? But when you are, you are like, <laughs> and say, Sir, thank you, thank you. Bye, 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 bye. He said, No, lady, that is not how it goes. You must confirm your signature that it is you and it has been delivered to you, not a wrong address. Your signature confirms that you are not the wrong address. You are the owner of the sent gift card to you. So you must sign. You must arise for the occasion. Are you following? It is like a prophecy has come to a black man, especially we West Africans. That child of God, the Lord said, you are going to travel to the United States. Then the guy will be like, Hey man! Hey man! West African way. That's the West African way. West African way of Christianity. West African way of receiving. That's we. You people, you don't do that. This is Papa. This is West African way. That. I receive. I receive. I receive. Then you keep on receiving. I receive. One year, I receive. I receive. You haven't done your passport. I receive. I receive. You haven't done anything. I receive. I receive. You are waiting for the airplane, for the flight to, to, to arrive on top of your roof to pick you up to the United States. Keep waiting, brother. Are you following? You keep waiting until Jesus comes. You need to do something. You need to arise for the task. Even though God says you are going to the stage, but you have a part to play. West Africa Christians, we are too spiritual that we don't arise. It is like Mary. And always your wife says, baby, come to me. Then you'll be like, receive baby. Receive a baby. Receive a baby. Receive a 10 years. No, <laughs> no child. Then you come to Bishop. Ah, Bishop, I don't know this God. No, God has failed me. And then Bishop wants you why? So, you know, 10 years now. Since I am my wife, I'm married. No child. Oh no, I'm quitting the church. My friend, quit it. Quit. If, if you are delaying, quit now. Now. We don't need crazy people like you in our church. You, your wife, you say, come and do the do, then you, you, you are, receive baby. Receive, what baby? Is that the way to make babies? My friend, put the prayer, tongues aside and do the do. Ah, are you hearing me? This is what the Bible means about arising. It, it is two things. Working on your spirit and working on your natural life. You need to do something. You need to pray. You need to fast. You need to give. You need to work. You need to know how to save money. You need to know how to invest. And you need to know how to spend money. If you don't do that, you will be always complaining. God, why me? Why that? Why this? Why? You are not arising. You will, anyone who is in that mindset will always be in darkness. Darkness is not always the darkness that we anticipate. There are many forms of darkness. As a matter of fact, what even you understand about darkness may not be so. Because, listen,
listen to me. Night is never darkness. Did you hear what I said? Night is never darkness. There's difference between night and darkness. People don't know. Let me interpret it. <laughs> night is physical. Darkness is spiritual. Yeah. So when you say when it, it is night, then you say it is that, it is that. It is a metaphorical speaking. That is not darkness. But my brother is teaching me English, so now I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, one time he applauded me, he said, Junior, you are getting it, you are getting it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm telling you, if you think that I'm lying, when you read Genesis chapter 1, the verse number 1, the verse number 2, verse number 3, the verse number 4 and 5, the verse 1 says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. He did not say a night. He said darkness, spiritual. God was not talking about a physical thing. He was talking about a spiritual. As a matter of fact, this is another series. Next time when I come, we are going to deal about it. This one is a chaos series. When I take you through it, you say, Bishop, tell your brother to put the microphone down. These things that he say is not true. We have our own field, see? He has his field. I have my field. The things that he can do on the pulpit, me, I can't do the preaching, the messages, sometimes I'll be like, who is this man? Last year, he brought signs and tokens down the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that? Before signs and tokens, I think early of, early of that year, Papa traveled and done. He assigned him to preach for Power Chapel for one day. And when the day, the, the first day, the first Sunday came to an end, he was there and Papa called him, son, you are preaching next week. Continue. <laughs> Continue. People have found the old man telling him about what his son is doing to the church. And after he, is, he was done preaching and about to leave Ghana to South Africa, Power Chapel pastor said, Bishop, you have crumbled the whole Power Chapel auditorium. You have removed the roofs. When Papa comes, he will see an empty church. <laughs> and we laugh. <laughs> why, why do you remove the roof of your father's? <laughs> Hallelujah. My time is up. Now look at this. The verse 2. The earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters no, you know if it was night, the spirit of God what is physical is physical so you know that Three. Then, then God said let there be light and there was light so in other words there was no light this light there is spiritual it's not a physical light. No, 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 no. It's not the sun. My brother knows the Bible, so that's you. <laughs> Verse 4. Because of time. Watch this. And God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. So now there's a spiritual demarcation. God divided the spirit, the light of the spirit from the darkness, which is also spiritual. But we'll look at the verse 5. And God called the, that light that he had divided day. So now this light that you see here 
is physical. But the first light was not hot. Physical. Are you following? Then the darkness he called night. So that darkness that he divided from the spiritual darkness, he said, you, you can never be darkness anymore because I have brought you out of the spiritual into the natural. So now you are night. Are you following? So we have two types of darkness. The first one is that physical darkness that you see, we call it night. Now, because of time, this one I said is another series I can take you through crazy stuff. Now, watch this. Are you following? Now, this darkness that the Bible is talking about, I have already told you that there are forms of darkness. Even night, some of you call it darkness. No. So if the Bible talks about a darkness coming and the Bible goes forward and says gross darkness, the people. He was talking about two things here, senior. He was talking about darkness upon the earth. And when the Bible went further in Isaiah chapter uh, um, 60, verse 2, when the Bible went further, he said gross darkness, the people, not the earth. When it came to the edge, he said, please go to um, Isaiah 62. He said, when you arise, you shine. Hallelujah. Behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. When it, it comes to the earth, he's talking about darkness. But when the Bible went further, when it comes to people, he said, and deep darkness. So with the earth, darkness. But with individual people, the darkness shall be deep. So let's get ready for what is about happening. We haven't seen anything yet. I'm telling you. But you know, it's good for the child of God when these things happen. Listen to me. Sometimes stop praying, God give me money, God give me. Sometimes stop praying, say, God give me problems. Start praying. I'm telling you. The richest man that you have ever known on this earth is as a result of solving a problem. is paid because he solved a problem in your body. Problems produce success. But we don't want problems always, my brother will say. <laughs> we always want, let everything be good. No, let me tell you. If you want to be successful, things must not always be good. No. The world will never know you. I'm telling you, the world will never know you. The reason why you have heard of Thomas Edison, a man, bishop, that have been died for how many years? How many years now? Thomas Edison. Many years now. But the reason why his name is still mentioned is that he solved the problem of the night. And how long did it took him to invent that book? According to research, some say thousand, some say thousand three hundred, some say some thousand five hundred. Let's make it average thousand times. But 
he did not give up. He strained, strained, strained until he got the right answer. Darkness comes for the good of every child of God. Are you listening to me? Now let me tell you this. When you read Job chapter 29 verse 3, you can put it there. <laughs> Job said, let me go through memory lane. And Job was thinking, bro, about his past. This time Job was down. He was at the top, but grrr, verse 29, he was down, poor, broke, sick, wife, divorced, children, dead. And he was thinking about when he was at the top. And he was thinking, why was I so successful? What, 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 what? Then he remembered and he said, when his lamp shone upon my head, watch this, and when by his light I walked through darkness. So now, Job is saying, oh, now I know that all my sources was not the absence of darkness. But my success was the presence of light. So darkness has been with me all this while. But I was still successful. Why? Because by his light, I walked through those darkness. Oh my God. Oh my God. Listen. What made Job notice that by the light of God, that is why he was successful even in the presence of darkness. He realized that the lamp and the darkness have been taken of him. But when the lamp and the light, the lamp and the light has been taken of him. But when the lamp and the light was with him, the devil did everything to bring him down. But he couldn't. It became impossible for the devil. So the devil said, ah, what is happening? What is happening? The devil went into his spiritual lab to do a spiritual research about the sources of Job and why he is not able to touch Job. Then he realized that God had built a shield around Job. So he said, then if I can get to Job, I need to get to the one who built the shield around Job. So the Bible said, the devil went to God and said, is it not because you have built a shield around him? Oh. <laughs> God said, have you realized my son Job? The devil said, yes. And how he is successful? And how he loves me? The devil said, hey, God, wait, 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 wait. Now I know the reason why Job loves you and why he's successful is that you have built a shield of light around him. That is why I've been trying to attack, attack, and attack. It is not working. And still, he, he's been successful. That is why he loves you. Remove that shield of light and see. <laughs> oh my God. And God said, I have removed it and I've given him to you. And immediately, the devil began to spread darkness into that darkness that is already in the life of Job. But he was not able to touch Job. The darkness to get access into the life of Job. His businesses, his companies, his marriage, his wife, his children. And brought everything down. Why? The absence of light. Oh, never. Never. Never step out of the light of God. When you pray, always pray that, oh Lord, let your light be ever present in my life. Because when you have that light, it doesn't matter the amount of darkness that the enemy will bring your way you will walk through that light and the darkness through that darkness and that light, darkness 
will never touch you. Why? You are carrying the light of God in you. The New Testament put it this way. You are the light of this world. A city on a hill shall never be hidden. Oh, say I'm a light. Say I'm a light. Say I'm a light. Say I'm a light. Light. Say, God, do not take your light out of me. All you need is the light. Listen to me. Do you know that I'm bringing the message to an end? Watch this. The reason why men saw that Jesus is the Son of God is because of light. The Bible put it this way they that live in darkness have seen a great light. When you are a light, when you enter into an office, everybody freezes. Then you see, who has walked into this office? Then you start walking majestically. Cut walking. You know, cut walking. You know, cut walking. When you got takes you into that dimension. He wants you to walk slow. Don't walk fast. Don't walk like better, better. No. Like on the red carpet. This happened to Job. The Bible said that he said, I went into the city gate and when the elders saw me, they reflamed from talking. And their tongues flip into their heart, their throat. And when the elders saw me, they stood out of their seat and saluted me. He was talking about his days of the light. When you are walking with the light of God, eh? great men will see you and say, Salute, sir. Family meeting will come on. If you are not present, the meeting will not start. Why? Because the light is not among us. Are you following what I'm saying? But you need to understand that for the light to be effective, it needs darkness. Yeah. Do you know when you follow light, it is not when light is present. When light is absent. Bro, when there is a light off. Are you getting it? Yeah. He, they have taken their light. My, our light. He, I need to iron. You, you feel, you feel empty. You feel, you feel that no, something is not right. That is when you know the value of light. So darkness makes you realize the importance of light. You see, you need that witch in your family for them to realize the Christ in you. Who is the hope of glory? And glory can never be glory without light. Oh. Are you following what I'm saying? You need that troublesome co-worker at your workplace to say all sorts of nonsense about you. So that men will know the light in you. Oh, you need, you need, you need, you need. Say, I need them. Oh, say, I need them. Say, I need them. When darkness is present, light shines brighter. When we go out and this same light, we put it out here, you will not see the brightness as this. But the reason why it's shining right now like this. Is because of the darkness in this place. Are you following? So whatever that is coming, let it come. Say, I'm ready. Are you ready to shine? Are you ready to shine? Say, I'm ready to shine. Say, I will shine. 
verse 2. Then we go to 3, then we end. <laughs> darkness covers the earth and thick darkness is over the people. So this darkness that is covering the earth, it will be thick for the people, for us on this earth. But you see, he said, but that is not the end. At it goes thicker and thicker. The Lord rises upon you and his glory appears over you. So until the darkness grows, the glory of the Lord will not come. And his reasoning upon you will not come. Oh. Are you listening, my brother? So, so the more the cross darkness, the more the glory of the Lord. CKLI, the more the problems, the more God is advancing the church. Say we march on. Say we march on. Then it goes further. The verse number three. Then we end. Nation. And kings to the brightness of that dawn. Do you know the reason why nations will come to your light? And kings, the other verse says, Gentiles, those that do not believe in your God, will come to your rising because in the darkness, when there is a light, you will see the light even in the bigness or the magnitude of the darkness. When a light is being erect in that darkness, you see that light. So if you are in that darkness, you will try moving towards that light. So do you know what is happening here? The light draws you. Are you following the light is not a magnet, but it will draw you to it. So whilst the earth goes darkness, men in darkness and gross darkness, the Bible says God rises over you and his glory shall be risen over you. And nations shall come to the light. Gentiles shall come to thy light. People will see you different. Then they will say, why are you shining in this serious darkness? Why are you prosperous in this <laughs> hardship of economy? Why are you driving this car whilst I am driving is it Bucky? <laughs> why is CKLI growing Whilst my church is going down, the difference is the light that is upon C, K, and I. The light will draw nations to you. Listen, not only individuals, but nations shall come to that light. Are you following? Say, oh Lord, Oh, say, oh Lord, let the nations come. And kings to the rising. The kings there means men of influence and affluence. Men of authority and high positions. God is saying he is bringing them to you. Because of your rising. Oh, you are going to walk with Ramaphosa. <laughs> yeah, you don't get it. Yeah, that's what the Bible is saying. The, 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 the king of Swaziland will come to look for Bishop Fino. And say, I bow. <laughs> See, the other king will say, I bow. Please, will you, will you put that, that your anointed hand upon my head? Listen, this is a prophecy about to fulfill so you need to tap into it. Say, I receive my portion. Nations are coming. 
they are coming from the east they are coming from the west they are coming from the north they are coming from the south just to assist you because of your rising they are coming at your workplace at your educational in your in your educational career just to assist you i see them coming i said i see them coming i said i see them coming i said i see them say oh lord let kings come to my rising and let blessings come to my shining in the name of jesus you can do better than that was as a result of light then let that light dwell upon me by his light I walk through darkness listen as I end my message we all discovered that Job was the richest man among all of the east yes in West Africa don't go take that was how Job is. Then Job discovered that the success and the wealthiness of his destiny is because of the light. Who am I to reject the light? No, I claim him. <laughs> Nigerian man will say, I claim I accept and receive the light of God in me. But watch this. As I end my message, this is what maybe you don't understand. The day that you got born again, that was the day that the light entered into you. John chapter 1 verse 1 verse 2 verse 3 verse 4 verse 5 In the beginning was a word and the word was with God and the word was God. Hallelujah. Right? In him were all things made and nothing that was made without him. Then the verse number 3 says in him is life and that life is the light of men. Is that true? That life is the light. So the day that we got born again, the light of God entered into us. And that light, the life of God, life of Christ Jesus entered into us. And that light, life produced light. So we are one person with diversities of personalities. Christ Jesus, the word, the life, and the light. So if indeed, if you are truly born again, you carry not just the life of Christ within you, but you also carry the light of God. So you are the career and the embodiment of light. When you are moving, men don't see you, they see light. Are you listening? But the prophecy was there for a time to be fulfilled. That is why you don't see the value of your light. But the time is now and the time is here for that light to manifest because of the fulfillment of the prophecy. Darkness is coming and that darkness is coming because you are about to rise up. You are about to shine. Nations are coming to you. Uh, kings are coming to you. The light of God is shining. Say shining. Say light of God. Shine. The light shines in darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. The light did not shine outside the darkness. When we were growing, I don't know if you realize... It was said in Sunday school when we are children, when the Sunday school teachers are teaching us, they will say the light shined upon the darkness. Uh, did, did you notice that? So as we were, we were growing in Christ, it is in our mind that the light of God shine upon, shine upon until you realize that the Bible 
did not say so. The Bible says, the light shined in that darkness. So, light shines in. You shine in the light. You will be great in the problems. You arise from that pit that you have been put. Are you listening? You will never come out from somewhere. That problem where you are in is going to produce your greatness. You are going to shine in the darkness. Any darkness that is coming, God has moulded you to shine. In other words, say I'm unstoppable. Say I'm unstoppable. Say I'm unstoppable. Say I'm unstoppable. Say, I'm unstoppable. Say I am a light upon this earth. I'm shining no matter the darkness. In the name of Jesus, somebody clap unto Jesus. And pray in the spirit, say, I'm alive, I'm alive. Rapa Koshke, I'm shining, I'm shining, I'm shining, I'm shining, I'm shining, I'm shining. Rapa Kaka, 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 Listen, I just watched my time. Let, let me be fast. Ah. Say, down will not die. Is it down? Say down. Put it. Put the mind. Say down will not die. Down will not die. Do you know down? Down clock. The person has your name. The same name. Down clock. Is it Tom? Clitor. Clitor. Who is Don Clitor? Senior, when I mention it. Uh, Don. 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 Yeah, I have a... Aunt's name is Don Peter. An aunt. Called Don. Don. Does he also does she also have the is it? Peter. Say she will not die. Amen. Say it again. Amen. 
She shall not die. No, confess it. She shall not. Dawn shall not die. Full, the full name. Dawn Cluter shall not die. Is, this, is, is she the only dawn that you know? That I know. Ah. Do you know what would have happened? Where is she? She's from my father's side of the family. So she's in Cape Town, yeah. She's in Cape Town? Yes. If you tell her to come this evening, will, will she come? I will make a plan. You need to. I will because make a plan. Because it comes, somebody will shoot her. Bah! She will die. And when she failed, I saw Tom crying. Tom. Tom Davis. Tom Davis. You don't know Tom Davis. No. Go and call her. Call her now. Yeah, I think that will make her come. Tom Davis. Tell her that God needs her tonight. And that does she know Tom Davis? Because immediately she failed. Tom started crying. The name was Tom. And Davis appeared. Go and call her. Give me music. Call her Shaka. Lift up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Is it Tom? I'm coming. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Don't Don't Will not die. Will not die. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Don't cruelty. Will not die. to her now and she said um, Tom was her father. Tom was the father. Was and father. you uh, Don you know Don but you don't know that Tom was her father. I, I don't know so much my father's family. We were not yeah. God knows you. Will she come? I told her now. She, she needs come, to. So I'll go after now also to her. She will not die. 
because of you. God is saving her life. And you know, God is about to shock you. That is why I said, instead of darkness, it's going to be a light. Instead of shame, you are going to shine. You see, never stop serving this altar. <laughs> you know what? Chlorine. Okay. You know what Chlorine? <laughs> Clotte, right? Forgive my accent. Do you know what is happening to this woman? It came into a time that enemy wanted to strike your heart. Your heart. I'm talking about health. But because of this altar, when it started, one time I saw you here at the church. My eyes is looking. I saw you standing whilst the worshippers are giving worship. And you were in the spirit. I saw you dressed white. The white is complete. It's not top and down. It's a complete white. But it is it's a, 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 a pant. You call it your pant, right? It's not skirt. It's pant. And you were putting on a red jacket. That jacket is there right now. Is it? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> I see you. I see you. And I see you worshiping. And you say, Father, I'm telling you at that particular so that you remember what was in your mind as the worship was going. You said, Father, you know how I love you with all my heart. Do not let the enemy strike my heart and kill me. Not kill me, strike my heart. That's what you said. And kill me. Please heal me. You haven't seen it again. Huh? <laughs> Huh? I haven't seen it again. It's true. And, and you can give, give is it called Dovi, right? I'm learning, is it? The, the, the one that she's giving to her is, is what? Yesterday you told me the tissue, I call it tissue. <laughs> That's a tissue. <laughs> Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Listen. We are warming up for tonight. You see, God knows you. Some of you, you are quitting the church because somebody said this, this do that. She did not go to her father to pray for her. She just believed the God of CKLI. She said, God, you know my heart. My heart for, for you, for your house. Do not let the enemy strike my heart and kill me. In fact, you were too afraid when that thing started. You were afraid. You, you will be walking. Then, like, huh? 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 Yes, was. You'll be sitting down, especially when a certain noise comes. <gasps> but just talking to the God of CKLI, God said, my daughter, when you were saying it, I saw an angel. Because when you were, say, when you were saying, you were not just saying the worshiping, there was a little tears. I saw an angel with a white veil or towel then the angel was standing beside you. Then the angel was saying, my daughter, I wipe your tears. And the angel was wiping. And the angel said, I hear everything that the angel said. You, what you experienced that time was that you felt so much um, um, breeze and it was like, it was no winter. But you were so cold, your body. Because the angel was around you. 
You are looking at your father. I'm talking to you, not your father. <laughs> no, this is not Kululu Kalala. Yeah, I don't know you. That is my gift. I go deeper, intense. You were so freezed and so cold. Even when you came back to normality, and you said, ah, why was I so cold? Because the angel that came, his presence was like that. So when the angel was talking, you were not hearing. But now God has revealed to me, I hear it. The angel said, I wipe your tears. And not just your tears. I'm going to turn that tears that I have wiped into joy for you. I'm going to reward you. I'm going to reward you. Dear daughter, don't worry. There is a great reward coming to you. You will see it and Rafa will see it. You will stand here and testify to the glory of God. Receive! Rise on your feet. Rise on your feet. Hey! I worship you. accept me who is a, is it mvile am i correct ma 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 vu something is who is who? That, that that person worship here? No, the person worships here. Mm M V E L, I think, E. Yeah. Let me type it. Yam V. Mm, v. Mm, v. Lily. Yeah, Mvelele, Mavu. 
Amen. It's you. And you are saying your. No, but she's not here. It's a relative, but not here, not Russia. <laughs> ah. You sure? Come and let me pray for you. But you will be shocked. My brother, you will be shocked that somebody here. Worships here. Don't worry. Let's leave it. You, you, you remember me. How are you? How are you? I'm so blessed. I'm blessed and lifted. You, I need to anoint you. I need to anoint you. You are also one of the lawyer. Lawyer. Where is your husband? <laughs> Somebody supposed to have married to you. That person has left this church. Do you know that? Ay! This one. Her case is different. Yeah. I have gone to your hometown. <laughs> now, 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 when you came, I did not see it immediately. You stood here. The, this one is sensitive. My daughter, let me leave it. No. I'm going to the solution. Don't worry. Let me leave it because it's a, it's a solution and a sensitive family matter. Because when I went there, I saw your spirit standing there and there is a woman standing beside you. The, the woman is a little bit taller than you. The woman looks... That's why I don't want to... I, I don't want to go there. My, this is my mouth. God. Mm, mm. Whoever with your glory when you were born as a child I cried at him all lift it up the Lord said it is time because of your good lawyer your service to this house and your loyalty whoever that tempered your destiny, your glory, your marriage when you were young. That person spit into her hands and rub your face. Give me the oil. Give me the oil. Sorry, daughter. Crash that table. I take your glory back to you. Hey! Lift her. Lift it up. Lift it up. That demon, I curse you by the blood of Jesus. Any witch, any witch, any witch sitting on your destiny, I curse that witch. I curse that witch. I curse that witch. I curse that witch. Any witch that took your glory, I cast that witch. I cast that witch. I cast that witch. 